mile away. She must have been getting pretty close to the runway, which was just up over the hill, but obviously, you know, was looking for the best alternative. If you got an emergency, you got to land, put a plane down wherever you can. It was just like one big pop. Brian Rippey was on the ninth hole with friends when he saw the plane losing altitude. This like plane was like up and then just came straight down and like hit the ground and hit a tree and you know, I was kind of like, oh wow. Rippey saw flames cover the cockpit with the pilot still inside. A sad scene where golfers tried to help. Paramedics and firemen got there pretty quickly and put it out and they got her out and airlifted her. I think it looked like at least one of the guys who was on the hole at the time like tried to do something about it, but the, you know, the fire got too big and they kind of had to back up, so there wasn't a whole lot you could do. The pilot was the only person in the plane, according to the University of Ole Miss, who says no one... Breaking this hour, a plane has crashed on the University of Mississippi golf course in Oxford. It happened about an hour ago. Our Chris Luther is headed to the scene, but joins us by phone right now. Chris, you've been gathering some information on your drive down. What can you tell us so far? Sorry, Anna. Yeah, we're on Interstate 55 heading south to Oxford right now. We're about 45 minutes from the old, Mont old Miss golf course where this crash happened. The golf course is right next to the University of Oxford Airport. I just got off the phone with the NTSB, the National Transportation Safety Board, who has confirmed that a Cessna 172 Skyhawk crashed around 3 o'clock. Uh, it's a single propeller plane. Witnesses on the golf course say they saw the plane rapidly losing altitude and then crash on the fairway of the 17th hole. The NTSB cannot confirm any fatality numbers from this crash, although we have heard from multiple witnesses that one person has died in this crash. The NTSB says local officials have to confirm whether uh, a, someone has died in this accident or not. I called the University of Mississippi Police Department, and so far they say they cannot release any information at this point. So we're going to head on over to the scene, see what information we can find. Uh, but we have heard that one person has died uh, in this crash. We do not know if anyone else, um, any golfers were injured, but at this point we do not believe there are any other injuries. Uh, simply this plane, the Cessna 172, crashing on the Ole Miss uh, golf course. Live, Chris. We now know the identity of the female pilot on board the airplane that crashed at a golf course in Oxford, Mississippi. According to the Starkville Daily News, 18-year-old Lake Little has died. She is the daughter of Starkville Alderman David Little. According to the University of Mississippi, the single-engine plane was performing touch-and-go takeoffs at the nearby Ole Miss Airport. It crashed around 3 p.m. Saturday afternoon. Little was the only one on board. She suffered serious burns and was airlifted to a Memphis. What's happening tonight, an investigation is ongoing surrounding a plane crash that killed a teenager yesterday in Oxford, Mississippi. 18-year-old Elizabeth Little died Saturday night at a Memphis hospital after being airlifted from the crash scene. Fox 13's Jeremy Pierre traveled to Oxford today. The wrecked plane flown by Elizabeth Little is still on the Ole Miss golf course as the NTSB and FAA investigate the cause behind the plane crashing. Uh, a student pilot basically has no privileges or authority to do anything with an airplane by themselves. According to Ole Miss, a single engine plane affiliated with the Mississippi Civil Air Patrol performed touch and go takeoffs and landings when it crashed in the area. I spoke to commercial pilot and flight instructor Robert Katz by phone. The touch and go procedure is something that a student pilot will do by themselves, known as solo flight, after they have demonstrated to their instructor that they are competent to land the airplane. We learned from the Civil Air Patrol that Little did have clearance to take the plane after paying a fee for fuel and maintenance, which is standard. Saturday at 2, she took off from the Golden Triangle Regional Airport in Columbus, Mississippi during severe weather. The flight was considered cross-country, although Oxford is more than 70 miles away with travel time just over an hour. When we see her flight track on FlightAware, we see an airplane that is maneuvering around cloud buildups. And that is not something that a responsible flight instructor would ever want to expose a student to. Little is the only person that happened to be on the plane when it crashed. According to the FAA website, Little's student pilot certificate prohibited her from having passengers. The National Transportation and Safety Board and FAA are leading the investigation of the crash.
it would be too risky, in my opinion, to allow a student pilot unsupervised to fly solo. I have reached out to the spokesperson for the Mississippi Civil Air Patrol for more information about this crash, and our five phone calls have not been